Coming up on Look Today, well, Saratoga County Creative Economy Business Roundtable took place last night, Hall of Springs in Saratoga, and we were there. We also speak to students at South Glens Falls High about another successful marathon dance. More on that coming up. Plus, the town of Queensbury proposes a resolution to end Warren County's SPCA's contract. Heated debate. I've got details. All ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, on tonight's program, I sit down with Laura Dorado. She's a new director of National Museum of Dance in Saratoga. And she's here to talk about her vision for the museum and all the events happening at the museum. Plus, I also sit down with Brian Nealon. He's the CEO of the Wesley Community in Saratoga Springs. We're joined by Lois Celeste, Executive Director of the Saratoga Senior Center and it's a weekly look at seniors. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, the Saratoga County Creative Economy Business Roundtable took place last night at the Hall of Springs at SPAC in Saratoga. Now, the workshop examined the region's creative economy. Now, that economy, by the way, encompasses many different industries and businesses. It is also one of the biggest economic drivers in our region. Well, we were at the event and we spoke to one of the organizers, Maureen Sager. She's a project director for the Alliance of the Creative Economy. It is the fourth of six roundtable discussions that we're having throughout the capital region. There are eight counties in the capital region and we're gathering input from people from all over so that we can start to see what the creative economy means to them and what the region means to them. Because it means different things to different people. And we want to start to have an identity that's meaningful to people both inside and outside of this region so that we can start to tell people how awesome this region is. Well, we were at that workshop last night. It was very informative and very helpful and surprising in a lot of ways. We also invited Maureen to be a guest on Beyond the Headlines. So watch for that. In other news, as we were telling you yesterday, South Glens Falls High raised over $800,000 during the South High Marathon dance. Now, we were at the school again today where we spoke to one of the students, Kate Nelson, about the dance. Um, the atmosphere was amazing. It was just the mood and the vibe was just so incredible, so positive. Everyone was just so excited. There was just so much energy. We just didn't stop dancing. It was, it was amazing. Now, we also spoke to another student, Morgan Smith, about giving back to the community. It's so important to me because these people have done so much for us and for them to go through a fight alone, like no one should ever have to go through that. And for them to have an entire community right up there with them, I think that's important for people to realize. Congratulations to everyone associated with that event. Switching from news to weather, uh, you're, not, you're not gonna want this. You can expect snow, probably a lot of it, starting sometime tomorrow morning, it looks like right now. But let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up for a more detailed look at our weather. Let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thanks, Jesse. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser with your first look weather update on Look TV. Let's take a look at the national forecast tonight. We have a few areas of low pressure with an occluded front entering the northeast. Also to note, this low pressure system in particular could be another nor'easter across this portion of the country. So what's already been a damaging last few days due to a previous nor'easter, although the damage may not be as extensive, but it could bring some heavy snowfall to parts of the Adirondacks along with our capital district. And that could mean plenty of snow uh, approaching our area as we'll be down into the 20s regionally. We'll see about 27 degrees in the Glens Falls area with scattered snow showers, increasing clouds, and for tonight, less than a half inch accumulation. We could see minimum two to four inches of snow tomorrow with a high of 35 degrees with a northeast wind at 10 or so miles per hour. I would not be surprised to see upwards of even double that, maybe eight 
to 12 inches in very isolated spots. Cumulative snow as you walk out the door, upper 20s to near 30, east winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Extended forecast will be up to the mid 30s once again Thursday and Friday with an 80% chance of snow. Rain and snow chances on Friday. Sunshine potentially on Saturday and Sunday, highs near 40. Overnight lows in the lower to mid 20s. At least it's March and we don't get to see those Arctic outbreaks as potent, especially after a potential nor'easter blanketing parts of the country with more snow. That was your weather update here on First Look Weather on Look TV. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser. Now let's send it back to you, Jesse. Thanks very much, Clarence. You know, this time of year, it is so hard to predict these storms. I think it was last week they were saying, you know, two to four inches, and a lot of places we wound up eight to ten inches. So keep your fingers crossed for the next 48 hours, and let's see what happens. All right, back to the news. Well, Queensbury Town Board met last night, and a resolution was forwarded on whether the town of Queensbury should end Warren County SPCA's contract. Now, this prompted a rather heated discussion. There was a lot of outcry from the public who argued against the resolution. Uh, the town of Queensbury submitted an RFP to assess whether they should replace Warren County SPCA services. Well, we're at that meeting, we're at every meeting, where Town Supervisor John Strau spoke. One reason was because they offered to do the town's dog control services and do so for a hundred thousand dollars less than the other proposal. We only got two. The second reason was because they are well known for providing excellent dog control service. Now there are some that are concerned that upstate SPCA does not have the resources to service the greater area, meaning Glens Falls and Queensbury. And Cynthia Harrigan spoke as well. Well, I'm here to tell you that if a child gets bit because a dangerous dog is running around the town of Queensbury and the upstate SPCA doesn't answer their phone and it's not addressed, you are going to be looking at a heck of a lot more than $100,000. Wow. Now, as you know, you can watch the full Queensbury Town Board meeting in its entirety, unedited, right here on Look TV or on LookTVOnline.com. And let me just take this opportunity to thank Stored Tech and Pinnell's Restaurant in Saratoga. They are the sponsors of these meetings that we bring to you. We very much appreciate that support. Up next, I sit down with Laura Dorado, new executive director, Dance Museum, National Dance Museum, I should say, in Saratoga. And she's here to talk about her vision and all of the events that are happening at the museum. I also sit down with Brian Nealon. Now, he's a CEO of the Wesley community in Saratoga. And we're joined by Lois Celeste, executive director of the Saratoga Senior Center in our weekly series, A Look at Seniors. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. A couple of lookouts. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the program that we had gone to this creative economy workshop last night. Uh, some of the statistics were very surprising. The creative economy in our area is very, very strong. You know, people like to live here, people like to work here, and people feel inspired by being here and living here. So uh, I encourage a lot of you to find out more about the creative economy. And as I said, uh, Maureen uh, will be on as a guest with Mike Lenz on Beyond the Headlines coming up in the next couple of weeks. And you'll get to learn a lot more about it then. And just uh, one more shout out to South High, South Glens Falls. I don't know about you, but you know, when these students get together and dedicate so much of their time and energy and raise over $800,000 to help those that are less fortunate in our community. It's just amazing, right? And last but not least, uh, we, are, we do have students coming in from Glens Falls High School tomorrow. Their schedule, I hope the storm stays away because we're going to continue our conversation on gun safety, gun regulations, and a student's perspective on all of this. That's it. Tonight, on Look TV. It's that brand new Queensbury Town board meeting. You don't want to miss it. It's a good one. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.